what is so important about the Aris Initiative is it gives people a chance to do something and feel that they are attacking a topic where the answer isn't in the back of the book, to realise that science is about questions as much as about answers. Science is great because it's all about moving forward, doing things that might seem impossible at one point, but in the future it becomes a possibility. Those of us doing research know this, but it's easy to get this over to young people with proper preparation, and that's what's going to be, be done here. All of the research doesn't have to be done by people who have PhDs and stuff. People who are teenagers who are doing a still can do stuff. The thrill of discovery, to feel that, that's so fantastic. And if you can give those students in secondary schools the opportunity to experience that, it'll be contagious. It'll be addictive. It allows me to kind of spread my enthusiasm for all things scientific research with the students and, and, and doing it with a real bit of science research where we don't know the answer. It is just the cherry on the cake, really. It's just, it just makes it great. If we have students who are better informed, they're more likely to be successful on the degrees. If we have some interaction with the schools early on, then the transition from school to university is helped enormously. And from our own students' point of view, our undergraduates and our postgraduates, they get a greater insight into the wider impact of their own research. There are lots of scientific projects which just need an analysis of lots of data. There's so much data that you can discover something new. You can even discover a planet around another star. The aim of the project is to look for new particles currently unknown to science. We're able to bring data from the Large Hadron Collider from CERN to schools to allow students there to do their own research at the cutting edge. It's one of the biggest opportunities I think we've ever had. Schools just learn the course, do a bit of stuff that's already pre-approved and this is like frontier physics. So the idea is that this meeting will be your opportunity to input into Iris, what you think it should be, how you think it should evolve, how you think it should change, what's good, what's bad. Here's the opportunity to say, this is what we want to be doing, this is how we want to be doing it. Hopefully in this meeting I will say nothing and you'll be doing all the conversation. It's massively satisfying to see this incredible dedication and, and skill of the students. I mean, they, they make fantastic presentations, they're carrying out work that, you know, techniques they wouldn't normally reach for second or third year undergraduate courses, if then. They're driving the research, they're pushing it, they're coming up with their ideas, they're the ones who are moving this forward. At events like this, it's quite interesting going around talking to everyone. Like We've had people from universities coming over to us and asking what we're doing. We've been studying the expression of genes we believe to be associated with the early onset of osteoarthritis. And we're here to talk about the Myelin Basic Protein Project. Our project is investigating cardiac myosin and contraction velocity in birds. I'm going to talk firstly a bit of an introduction to earthquakes, why it's important for the peplum, and then some new theories and some problems with the theory that we're going to have to iron out. Most of our research comes from Tim Peak um, on the ISS. What we want to do is we want to create a radiation map of the UK. Our aim is not only to identify an association between diabetes and the genetic components between ethnic origin, but to also ultimately educate our community. There are so many things going on with Lucid. We've got some amazing results already. It's only looking bigger and better for the future. We're looking back 13 billion years into the past and within this range are over half a million galaxies. Uh, I developed a bi-specific antibody, um, something you know you do every day. Um, <laughs> these amazing students are actually solving those engineering grand challenges right now. As well as the schools and the universities benefiting, science itself will benefit.